Good evening everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Fatima Harris and I have secured rank 774 in the civil service examination 2022. So I am here to share a quick uh, feedback and uh, peeping into how I uh, cleared these examinations eventually. Uh, so uh, as you all know this examination have got three steps to it that is first you have to clear the prelims examination then the mains examination and uh, the interview preparations so um, the three steps of the examination are quite intermingled with each other uh, as we can see the preparation mode should be different so coming with the preparation of my prelims i often faced a uh, issue with the csat that is the paper two when it comes to the prelims examination and when it comes to the paper one it is all about the knowledge you use and the logic with which you crack the questions so for me uh, the general studies part was okay but i had to struggle with the csat paper which i eventually made up to it and i cleared the 2022 examinations and uh, coming to the mains a big mistake i made was i started a full-fledged preparation for the mains only after i cleared the prelims examination uh, uh, one thing was that I didn't have the time because I'm a working doctor and the second thing was that I always thought mains is something that I can ace uh, if we have good knowledge, good writing speed and all I always thought we could ace it rather, uh, much with much e uh, like ease than the prelims. Uh, but what I realized was that the mains preparation should be started along with the prelims preparation once you start preparation for the civil services. So uh, when it comes to mains preparation, you should have a proper answer writing schedule for yourself. That is for all the papers, because when it comes to the uh, total marks, every paper will count. You can't just score an exorbitant mark in one paper and a very less mark in the other paper. That won't amount to you securing a good rank or even clearing the exam. So uh, it's always like every paper has its own bit to do. That is the GS1, GS2, GS3 and the ethics paper, the essay paper and eventually the optionals. Uh, there is always a, a strategy that many of the candidates will always think that they can uh, get a very good score in the optional paper and the GS is like everyone will be doing the same in GS general studies paper. So we don't have to uh, give much time for that preparation. But that is a very wrong strategy to do because sometimes the general studies paper can determine your rank as well so uh, the answer writing session should be made such that your own session should be made that, that whoever is your mentor who has a good experience in this field who has secured good marks in the mains examination you can always seek their help and get your answers corrected and improve by writing more and more never think that i'll start writing answers once i'm done with the whole syllabus of upsc because upsc syllabus is so vast and there is a new thing to study every day there will be something new to study every day so there's never a chance that you can or you will be writing answers after you study the entire syllabus that is a very wrong strategy to start preparation with even if it's for prelims also if you think that i'll uh, study all the subjects in starting from ancient india and ending in environment or science and technology i'll study every bit that comes in the newspaper and all the current appears materials we can get and then i'll start taking tests that is also very wrong strategy start taking tests realize your mistakes and start improving with your mistakes because your mistakes are the only thing that can tell you where to improve if it's your mentor or anyone else they can't tell you of where you should be improving that is we always say that self-realization is important for success so even if it's for mains or it's for prelims start making mistakes and learn from your mistakes and when it comes to optionals choose an optional which which you which you think you can ace that you can study and you have a good mentor around to give you good mentorship and you can get your answers corrected and you have good resources which you can rely upon okay then coming to the personality test preparations uh, you need to have a good crux on your optionals you need to have a good crux on whatever is going around the current affairs then obviously you will be filling up a detailed application form too that is after the mains exam you will have to know everything about your own self maybe i think uh, it's a time of self-exploration that is after clearing mains when you're going for the interview it's a time you know about yourself more uh, and that is what you have to uh, tell before the board never fake in front of the board never tell something that you think will make them give you more marks and never try to ap like appeal in front of the board or something like that so uh, I've always something to say is believe in yourself that 
always believe that you can do it that let no one else tell you that you can't do it cut off all the negativity from your life like every every person or everything that gives you negativity and just believe in your preparation there will be times of setback because i myself has faced a lot of setbacks a lot of struggle because during prelims examination i was struggling financially i wanted to be stand on my own feet and prepare for this exam so i started to work then i had other personal baggages that i had to deal with then when coming to the mains i had this issue that i can't i, I was not able to write exams in a full stretch of 3 hours because of the severe muscle spasm i had then i had to go for physiotherapy a, a, like a lot of time every day when i was preparing for for uh, mains exam a 2 hour or 3 hours will be going for my physiotherapy sessions so that was also something that really went bad for me during the mains preparation but and also you have to take care of your health both your both your, both your physical as well as your mental health because at the end of the day when you're going and sitting at that exam hall you need your physical health to support you you need your mental health to think properly so eat well and be surrounded with good people and positive feelings all the time and when it comes to the interview preparation that is where i got acquainted with shankar ias academy and this was a place wherein i always remember whenever i come in for a one on one session or for a mock interview uh, lena ma'am will be all, always here and she'll be the first thing she'll be asking me will be did you eat something and that that was something always really that made me feel at home here because no one else cared or no one else asked if the, the if the candidate will be eating well or if that person is having a stressful or a not stressful time so and uh, other faculties here and the other people around here they were all very supportive and this was a place i got a stress free environment from which helped in which helped me to prepare for my personality test and the mock interview they attended here after every mock interview uh, lena ma'am and hari chandan who used to be here he gives us a very good feedback and the other faculties parvati and everyone around here letika chechi and everyone will give me a feedback on how i was doing and how i should be improving so this place felt like home whenever i was stressed and i'm very thankful to the entire academy here Uh, for all the help they have done and also govind sir for helping me in political science and international relation preparation during the mains he used to give me feedbacks over the phone i used to write answers and send it to him and in between his busy schedule he used to correct them for me and tell me my mistakes so i'm heavily indebted to them in a lot of ways and i'm sure every candidate who comes to this academy will be in safe hands thank you so much